Okay, today's video is Plate and Sheet Professional, and I'm going to make a duct transition from rectangular to round. So let's start up here. New, uh, you see the categories that you can choose from. And uh, I'm going for transitions, and I want the rectangular to round. This is the prompt that pulls up. Now the important thing here over uh, sheet lightning is this category where I can set inside, mean, and outside, and material thickness. I'm going to go with the inside since this is going to sleeve over a piece of plate. And the material thickness is 14 gauge, so that would be a .075. The overall width is going to be 13.875 the overall length is going to be 16.25 the diameter is going to be 12 this would offset it to one side or the other which I don't need uh, the ductwork the diameter of the circle is 12 inches the overall length is 16 and a quarter so I'm going to offset this by two inches and let us see what we have. I might have to offset this by four to have it parallel to the edge. Uh, the height is 13. Let's develop it. Let's see what it looks like from the front view. And what I want here on the one end is a 90 degree angle, which is correct because this is offset to one end. All right. Let's go back to the pattern. Now there are some considerations here. You can't break something like this on a press break without having some degree of trouble. Uh, what I'm going to elect to do is have this pattern developed in two pieces and it will be 180 degrees will comprise each piece and we'll zoom to fit and you can see I have two half patterns there for this Now if I had the full-blown program, what I could go and do from this point is to also lay this out so that it could be printed out on a regular printer and you could actually lay these things out on a piece of metal and use it as a guide for shearing or cutting and uh, then also as a guide for the bends on this particular type of a transition. That I can't show you, but I at least can show you what this looks like insofar as developing a pattern goes uh, for layout work. And also, this can be exported. File, export as a DXF, and this can be sent to your laser shop uh, where I believe there are layers in here where you not only have the bends, but it will assign the degree of angle to the bends. And then, of course, the blue lines are the external cutout. In any case, that was a brief overlook at something that I really wish Solid Edge had because this is something that a lot of shops require. There is one other thing I did want to show you though, and that would be in the properties. The number of bend lines. Since this is going to be a sanitary uh, condition where I have to weld this to a 12 inch piece of round duct and I have to polish this on the inside, I don't want it to be quite so coarse on the fold lines. So I will pick 36. And as you can see, there are a number of other choices in there also, but 36 should give me what I want. It automatically updates. And thank you for watching. Uh, this video.